booty. A man's butt. Some men say it's more important than breathing. Welcome to Star Sector, where today we will sail the high hyperspace, pillaging, plundering, and get in that booty. We're playing as a pirate today, only getting money from destroying merchant convoys and selling their sweet, juicy swag. We're going to grab those traitors and subject them to what can only be described as cock and ball torture. It's going to be great. Without further ado, let's get started. What the hell is even that? Oh, god damn it. I've got waifu mods. Oh, god, what have I done? But god damn. Look at those tits. <laughs> wow. Oh, God, why? Come on, man. <clears throat> Star Sector is a game where you can be anyone you want. An old salty asteroid miner addicted to space drugs who left his wife and kids for a gallon of space milk 10 years ago and never went back. A faceless, daring pilot who loves the thrill of a good laser space fight. The ultimate space admiral with a badass eye patch who expertly commands his fleets to victory and gets his men home safe. An anime e girl waifu who. God damn it. A duck. A space duck. But for us, today, we shall be the most feared and ruthless intergalactic space pirate ever seen. A man whose name is feared across the cosmos, only spoken in hushed tones for fear of summoning him. We're playing as Captain Gigglesnort. Ma'am, Captain Gigglesnort. So let's slap some trash onto our face and get into it, shall we? Now, if you're new here, keep coming back. Subscribe for me, would ya? It's the best way you can support this channel, and it helps me feed my crippling space drug addiction. We start with a fancy purple ship. Three fancy purple ships. What? If you're a space pirate, it's not gay. It's just ma'am Captain Gigglesnort's favorite color. Don't, don't question it, or he'll pillage your booty. Wait, that's not what I meant. With his lieutenants Barnacle Bumbler and Squinty McChuckles. God damn, that's good branding. I should have named my channel that. We begin with basically nothing. A Janus device and some meager accoutrements. I may be lowly meow, but just you wait, Bubba. Just you fucking wait. Now, being a pirate, no one really likes you. Personally, I don't understand why. But hey, I didn't make this game. So how are we going to find people to murder, you ask? Well, my boy, we'll be building a core of informants who give us the juice, a fleet departure schedules, and then we strike. Oh, we also have a pirate commission. So, you know, that's neat. With a top off on crew and supplies, it's time to get serious and spend the rest of our dosh on some new ships. Yeah, it's not purple, but it'll do. I mean, it's an eradicator. How could I not buy this? Just look at her raw sexual energy in missile silo form. Oh, Bubba. To get our feet wet, I call up one of my contacts. Oh, Boral Five Aces, we've got a delivery job. It's no trader convoy, but this early in game they haven't spawned yet, and I gotta do something to make money, since I can't do trade routes. But Boral is a pirate homie. You can trust your homies. This should be a quick and easy job. Motherfucker. But you're a goddamn pirate! We're supposed to be homies. Does the pirate code mean fuck all to you people? Oh, whatever. Let's push his shit in real quick and get on with it. Goddamn homies. Give me your shit. <laughs> one man. I got one man. Well, whatever. Device dropped and bam. Easy money. So now let's get a mission from a sheep. Jesus Christ, these mods, dude. <laughs> nah, fuck the sheep. Not, not like that. I, I mean, well, anyway. Here we go, a smuggler. Finally, the pillaging life old Giggle Snort desires. We give him the old Dick Cheney to the face and capture his ships. I mean, he didn't need them anymore, right? Because he's dead. And there it is, our first booty. As a young man, you always remember your first booty. It didn't sell for much, but Bubba, we're just getting started. This is what we're really after, a faithful convoy. Oh, Lud, help me. It's a trading convoy technically, so I'd say it's fair game. The boring part of this is the waiting. Waiting in hyperspace by the hyperhole. It can be very boring, unless these motherfuckers show up. Goddamn space rave. But goddammit, their purple ships get my blood flowing. So I respect it. And I want it. Good tunes, too. Nice. Now, being a creature of opportunity, when a mercantile convoy of heavy machinery and armaments rolls up, I mean, I gotta blast them. So anyways, I started blasting. And my dude, are these profits nice. Not the, not the best, but you know, still nice. Oh, we also got a space prisoner, who I kinda wanna jettison into the vacuum of space. You think that'd feel good on your dangle? You know, like sticking your dick in a vacuum is good. <laughs> So sticking your dick in the vacuum of space should be great? Hmm. Science nerds, get on it. I'ma call up Elon. But no, we'll just sell him into slavery. Uh, I mean, ransom him back to his family. And with hostages, our dosh grows. God damn it, not again. Every time I load into this fucking game now. Nice. Gah! So when the koalas don't have a good job for you, well, what do you do? You take out all the built-up sexual frustration gained from the intro screen, and you attack a helpless scavenger. So that's just what we did. Good way to pass the time until this convoy rolls up. Call me Dr. Cheddar, because we're giving this guy a laser rectal exam. Right up there. Right up that poop shoot, Bubba. Ah, I think he liked it. There, that swag's better. Ooh, and another hostage. 
Don't mind if I do. Now we grew the fleet, repatriated the prisoner for some rep, and sold the swag. Then we hit convoy after convoy. The pirate life was looking good. It suited old Giggle Snort well. Is this like blackface but for hobos? You know, like wearing a piece of trash on your face? Am I reading too much into this? Probably. But anyway, look at how our fleet grows. All derelicts gained by ill-gotten means. Fucking beautiful. And man, these trade convoys are getting wild. Fucking look at that little guy. Doesn't know where he wants to go. It's okay, little buddy. I got the perfect place for you. Hell. It's like Disneyland. Well, okay, that's a little harsh, I'm sorry. Nothing is as bad as Disneyland. A fiery hell that is the great expanse of space is Shangra fucking La compared to Disneyland. And then I saw it. The most beautiful sight I've ever laid my eyes on. The Dunscathe Dreadnought. Oh, Bubba, isn't she something? I must have this. I must have this in my life. It's got no business going that fucking hard. But, uh, cooperative? Well, shit. How the fuck am I gonna do that? Well, see you later, pirate scum. You guys betrayed me in literally the first mission, so hello Legion anime waifus. Now I just need to build up that reputation, and if being a pirate taught me anything, you gotta act like the government. When faced with a problem, just throw missiles at it until it goes away. Human life be damned. So we pester our local enemy bitch fleets for meager rep. It's just not good enough. And then the perfect solution. A space convoy party. Woo woo! No, not that. A convoy from Sexco. It's where the sex goes. Let's fucking get the motherfucker. Ah, little guy got away. He's a slippery little fella. Probably lube from all that sex. Anyway, how about another faithful convoy? Those guys are wimps. Oh shit, a hospital ship. We just destroyed a convoy of hospital ships. Um, we're the good guys, I swear. They were probably smuggling, uh, poor innocent refugees. <laughs> it's all about perspective. Like how in the West we use eggplants for cocks, while in Japan they use carrots. Is it because Asian dicks are considered micro? Well, yes, but also no. The Japanese carrot is much larger than the Japanese eggplant. So when sexting Japanese youths shall do carrot emoji, water squirt emoji, peach emoji. The peach is universal. But on the bright side, we get to ransom more hostages or uh, repatriate more hostages. So here it is, boys. We have the rep. We have the money. It's time to get the business. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. That's what Daddy Cheese is talking about. I can't do much to build it, though, because I'm now broke, but this will do. Now then, what unfortunate, unlucky soul am I going to test this out on? Oh, God. <laughs> Another faithful convoy. Oh, Lud, forgive me. I know not what I do. I just want to blast with my boo. Well, fuck him. Oh, yes. He really has no business going that fucking hard, dude. God damn. Looking at this ship in action, all I can say is, Welcome to America, motherfucker. Ooh, purple ships. My mans knows how to party. We gotta help the Legion homies out though. Not like the pirates. The Legion takes care of each other. Oh, I'm going to spend all my story points on this. I have to. They're purple and techno music and cool and purple. And it's called the Climax Surprise Party Cruiser. Are you fucking kidding me? I'd be stupid not to take this. God damn, my fleet's badass. Legion, best decision I ever made. Fuck the pirates. All this good stuff, all because some retard couldn't live by the pirate code. Well, I wasn't really living by the pirate code either, to be fair. I mean, I had women as an officer, which is foreboding. But you know, eh, it's 2023, maybe she's got a dick. I don't know, space pirates.
We now have more firepower than what the insurgency had during the 2021 insurrection. Well, not really. Sure, we have the ultimate death machine, but we don't have that much firepower. Those goddamn heavily armed, mostly peaceful protesters taking my trophy. I at least want a participation trophy, goddammit. We still give those out, right? What's this? Goddamn Percy and pussies attacking my Legion bros. Nah, homie. We don't play that shit. Papa Defense Force activated, bitch. Well, whenever they get here, that is. A lot of waiting in this life. Lot o waiting. Oh shit, that's a lot of dudes. <laughs> Fuck. Thank God my transponder's off. <laughs> if only they knew. If only they knew who I was flying right next to them. I mean, they're not really even doing anything. It's literally just been this. They destroy a tiny fast picket or whatever and chill. Fucking do something. Oh, here we go. Legion fleet. I mean, we, we can do it. I think we can do it. We can do it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Oh, I can only deploy my bestest boy. Well, fuck. It's fine. We're fine. He, he's tough. All right. Just a uh, little old me then. Uh, at least I got my AI Legion boys. Sup, boys. Uh oh, where's your dreadnought? Didn't deploy it, did ya? Yep. Nope. Well, enough of them have died, so I can already call in my boys. Okay, come to me. Oh, you're fucked, dude. You're so fucked. Get fucking fucked on, Bubba. Oh, they got their own big boys. And his ass is exposed. Primed for the pounding. Come here, son. Big boy v big boy. Who's got the bigger boy? Well, this commentary is starting to get a little suspect. <laughs> ah, well, uh, that hurt. Jesus. They got two big boys. Well, shit. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Fuck, it's not fine. Okay, let's get the party barge out here. Don't know about you, but I'm ready for a climax. Here we go. Get in there, boy. Blast him. Right in the face. Oh, we almost got him. Come on. I'm a little overextended here, but god damn it, we're so close. Fuck, that's so many missiles. Oh no, my boy. Well, one of their big boys fled, like a puss-ass coward. We're almost shredded, though, but I mean, it's not like they have four more massive invasion fleets we need to deal with. Oh no, this shit's all fucked, isn't it? This is all wrong. Jesus, take the wheel! Okay, more boys. I need my boys. We can still do this. No, my eradicator, motherfucker. How dare you? He was so young and had so many missiles. Okay, stealth bro. Help me, I'm stuck. Ooh, woo. Oh, God. How did I get this so far out of position? <laughs> yeah, this is not good. Boys, I think I fucked up. Well, honestly, I think I fucked up when I jumped in this fight, but hey, we're here now, so... Yep. No, my boy! We're not winning, son. We're doomed, aren't we? Shit. Well into the jizz wagon. The cum cruiser. The cum cruzzler. <laughs> cum. Cruzzle the cum in the jizzy jalopy. Oh, it's dead. Well, shit. Okay, sweet. Well, I'm quickly running out of options here, aren't I? Atlas? Yeah, two atlases with no weapons. That'll turn the tide of this fight. No, the hospital ship! What kind of monsters would destroy a poor innocent hospital ship? Oh shit, a hospital ship. We just destroyed a convoy of hospital ships. Um... Is nothing sacred, these monsters? I certainly would never <coughs> hurt a hospital ship. <laughs> I'm gonna ram you, bitch. Come here and get rammed. I'm gonna ram you so hard right after I get destroyed. <laughs> Well, this is it. This is what I'm reduced to. And there we go. Ah, well, that didn't go very well now, did it? You may be asking, Papa, why did you attack five giant invasion fleets? Because D's nuts, that's why. Okay, it was a slight hubris-based incident. Honestly, I thought I could do it. I was way too overconfident. I overextended and paid the price. My beautiful boy wasn't even built to its full potential. He wasn't even a man yet. But God damn Damn it, I do love that ship. Rest in pieces, party wagon. You will remain forever in our hearts. Then probably cause an artery blockage because he's a huge bitch. My new ship name should sum this episode up quite nicely. Ah, there we go. We're down, but not out. I still have my money. We can rebuild. Better. Stronger. Faster. This won't be the last they've seen of ma'am Captain Gigglesnort. Mark my words. Bitch. Ow, Jesus. Well, anyway, thank you cats for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. A special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society, who I watch undress from the bushes outside their windows. I'll catch you cats on the flippity flop, and as always, I love you, bye.